ghost of times just fade away and help you find the words that you don't know how to say the power of a love song can make you believe the power Hanging out with Tate Stevens here at Sony Building. How's it going, Tate? Good. How are you? Doing well. Thank you. And we were actually at your music video shoot for The Power of a Love Song, and that's airing now on CMT and GAC, I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. It's very cool. They, uh, they're they nice enough to play it. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's cool. That's cool. Very good. I liked it. Yeah. It's very romantic, I have to say. We were there at the video shoot. It has a lot of antiques in the film and sure. lots of great things going on. So what's going on right uh, now with just you? Just busy, busy. Doing, doing a lot of press, doing a lot of things, uh, visiting a lot of radio uh, stations and and uh, getting out and, and uh, telling everybody about it. Yeah, and I heard that on the album you actually collaborate with Joe Diffie for this project. How was that experience? Uh, it's awesome. Uh, Joe Joe's my favorite singer. Uh, has been since like 1990, mm-hmm. and uh, just he's one of the best country singers we've had. And okay. and uh, you know, so for him to be nice nice enough to uh, sit in a room and write with me was that was awesome. So, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, it was very cool. And we got a song on the album, and uh, it's called "I Got This," okay. and it actually leads off the 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 album. It's I first like song it. on the album. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. So. Uh, it's good, man, and I got to write with a lot of people, mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of people who I really respect and look up to, uh, the John Riches and and David Lee Murphy, Shane Miners, and and you know, uh, Ben Hayslips. I mean, just I could name a lot of them that I got. Yeah, I mean, I like that. That caliber is really nice. Yeah, I mean, there's some some great great writers on this album, and and uh, you know, uh, fortunately, they were nice enough to. Uh, Cool. sit in rooms with me and write so yeah definitely and this is your first full project too you actually have been performing a long time and you got your break on the x factor how does it feel to kind of have this full project what did your family think when they heard it uh they loved it they're they're excited about it I you bet. know yeah 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 no they're, they're excited so um like like anything you know we're we're uh you know, running at it uh, head first and, and uh, you know, hopefully people like it and I can't wait to, okay. for everyone to hear it. So. Yeah, definitely. Well, what things have you learned from these amazing writers that you were just talking about that you've kind of uh, taken in as your own writing qualities have grown? Um, I learned how terrible of a songwriter I am. <laughs> Uh, really uh no these guys are so awesome at it and mm-hmm. and they and they make it so easy yeah uh so it was really easy to go in and and i just kind of let them do what they do and then i was just you know basically learning a lot and yeah. and uh you know some tricks and things that they do that that i'm that i'm using now yeah. uh, to help that process and and help you know, when I grow up, I want to be a songwriter. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, that, that's, I, I'm such a fan. Mm-hmm. I'm such a fan of songwriters. And, and, uh, like I said, you know, I got three, um, three co-writes on this album. So. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. That's thank really you. Great. It can write every wrong, help you hold on, even when I- Congratulations. And you were in front of some really intimidating judges, one being Simon Cowell. Did you feel any nervousness? Or did you know how, how big that was to be in front of these people? Did you, uh, did you grow up on them? You know, did you watch American Idol with Simon? How did you feel to see this? Yeah, you know, I mean, it was, it was a little intimidating at first, mm-hmm. uh, the first few times, mm-hmm. just because it is, you know, L.A. Reid and yeah. Simon Cowell and, right. and it, what they've done in the music business. Um, you know they've done a lot Mm -hmm. you know uh, i think simon's responsible for 300 million albums being sold yeah you know i mean that's that's a lot it's Mm -hmm. a lot and uh (laughs) so and and, you know la reed with his you know usher and and justin bieber's and mariah carey's and beyonce's and things like that that he's done Mm -hmm. obviously he knows what he's doing too um so that was a little intimidating, but once once I got to know them mm-hmm. and and it just got more comfortable, you yeah. know, so it wasn't that big a deal mm-hmm. uh, anymore. Yeah. But you know, you still want to impress them. Yeah. You still want to you know do well enough that they they really like it. Yeah. So well, you were a favorite of Simon, so you did pretty well, I have to say. So that's really cool. Yeah, you know, it was it was nice that he, he enjoyed what I do. Correct. Uh, yeah. And and you know now I, I can say that you know he's I, I don't know if I'd call him a fan, uh-huh. but but he's he's definitely uh, you know. 
he's definitely backing what I do. That's so awesome. that's very cool. We'll make him a country fan nonetheless. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. Yeah. Well, talk about your wife and kids. They actually entered you into the contest too. You told us last time. How do they feel seeing this all coming full circle? Uh, they're excited. They <laughs> they are. Bet. They are. They're they're really excited about it. And and you know they're proud. Yeah. Um, and, and my wife has the ultimate. I told you so. Anyway, so, uh, you know now and and. Uh, but they're just, they're really excited. They're, um, you know, the sacrifice and not home, yeah. but, yeah. but they, they're, they're so awesome with me being gone. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, I think it's harder on me than it is them. Uh, so, uh, but they're doing good. They're excited about it. My son's excited because this summer he's going to go out with us on the, on the road good. and, and, uh, and be our roadie, nice. you know, so it'll be fun. Yeah. He's going to have a good time. So what, what touring are you doing this summer then? We're doing a lot of our own shows. Okay. Um, we have some with Alan Jackson coming up, um, and and some big fairs and and things like that. But uh, we're just going out and doing our own thing, and and uh, you know I'm getting out and seeing as many people as I can and thanking them in person. And that's my goal this year. My goal is to to hopefully see everybody that put me in this position yeah. because if it wasn't for the country music fans, I wouldn't be here. Mm-hmm. Well, tell everybody where they can find you online and uh, on Twitter and Facebook. Um, I have my uh, TateStevensOfficial.com mm-hmm. is my website. Yep. Um, Tate Stevens CTRY mm-hmm. is my Twitter and Instagram. Nice. And uh, Tate Stevens Official Fan Page nice. is the Facebook. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, what what do you think is your one of your favorites, I won't say the favorite, on this new album coming out next week? Uh, definitely uh, a song called Ordinary Angels. Gotcha. It's, it's, I, I, it's, uh, it's great. Wow. It it's sounds an amazing like a song. cool title. I like that. No, it's very, it's a, it's a great song. I had nothing to do with writing it. Mm-hmm. Um, I wish I did because it's, a, <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a absolutely, a truly great song. And, uh, I was just fortunate enough to, that they let me cut it. Cool. That's cool. Good for you. Yeah. Well, congratulations on everything. We look forward to hearing the album, and I know the fans will. Oh, They're yeah. all about you, so they stay tuned on our Facebook page about you. So we'll have more from Tate Stevens coming up right here at the Nashville Country Club. Thanks for watching. Yeah.